Hello and welcome. I'm Andrew and this video is going to be about the new um, Saudi League Team of the Season Objective card, like the group reward thing that has been released by EA today. Uh, you can see on the screen now it's Te Tevredi. I'm still not sure how to pronounce that, but that is his card. So he's got four criteria to meet for um to earn his reward you have saudi scoring score using saudi pro league players in three separate squad battles on minimum professional difficulty or rivals um all of these are in squad battles or rivals if you should pick um but uh one of them is on world class difficulty and the rest are on professional so we're probably going to be to to get thing them done the quickest you can try and object, like try and complete them all simultaneously in a world class match against world class opposition. Um, but obviously, you could put it at professional difficulty if you want to concentrate on those ones first and then do the world class, depending on your opposition. Just depends on what you want to do, really. Um, the next foot, uh, next objective here is weak foot work. So, score two goals. In two separate matches on minimum world class difficulty using players with a minimum of four star weak foot. So we'll have a look at that with the players that we've selected for our team going on next. Um, third one is the pro league lineup. So we have to assist with a cross in three separate matches in squad battles on minimum professional difficulty. And you have to have at least five Saudi pro league players in your starting squad. Now, um, what I've seen by having a look at it so far, I was lucky enough to have, um, I've got one silver star, the Romarinho card, the Brazilian midfielder chap, and also got a team of the week, Eva Benega. He's had two or three team of the week so far, this game version, I think. Um, and Gomes and um, a couple of the other players have also had team of the team of the week cards, so you may well have a team of the season card for that league in your club already. Um, some will, some won't. That's just how it's gone so far. Um, and the third one is dazzling Dutch. So score and assist in six squad battles wins on minimum professional difficulty using Dutch players. So emphasis on Dutch there. We got an Electrum players pack for that reward, a premium gold pack for that reward, a 75 plus rated player for that reward, and a, just a normal gold pack for that reward. So we're going to go look at our team, see what I've decided to do. I'm just going to pick begin and just to show you what I've got. Right. Um, so we have five Saudi players here, which is the first criteria. Um, basically, this was just what I had in my squad, and I've managed to chem them up again with other players to keep max chem which is always good when you're going into a squad battles league match um they're not particularly hand-picked players they're just ones that were in my squad at the time i've changed romarinho to a center uh, center forward so that he can score the goals unfortunately he's not four star minimum weak foot that would have helped but unfortunately we'll have to get contributions from elsewhere on the pitch um, I have got the yeah, Saudi Pro League players scoring in three separate squad battles matches, so that's what I'm going to be keeping Romarinho in for that. And then we've got Benega, who's going to stay on the pitch as well. What I plan to do is um, swap out some of these guys once the game starts for oops for other players, so that we can meet the objectives more easily with the players that are currently on the pitch. So that's what it'll be in game. Those are the subs I'm probably going to make. Um, obviously relying on Mount and relying on Mane for that four star weak foot to score the goals against the world class difficulty opposition. But apart from that with Solara and Mane putting in the crosses, hopefully we should be able to get um, the pro league lineup criteria complete and van destroy basically is there because of the the, the well the, the chem doesn't really matter because he's going to be subbed on but here's the score and the assist using dutch players so that's how i'm going to complete it um 
we got it kind of basically just done by league and Argent with a Benega centre midfield. I've gone with two Argentinian centre backs to help the chem and Argentinian goalkeeper and then a Serie A right back to match with Romero. Um, and obviously um, Malquit chems with has a good link with Yoda who's on my right wing at the start of the game. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it. Obviously, you may have different players in your squad from the start. There's all sorts of players that you can have. Let's just go to the Saudi League now. Do I go past that? No. Saudi League concept players on. So, skipping past the team of the seasons at the beginning, we've got... That's the Benega, the champions, the team of the week one. I've got there. Team of the week chap. He's also we've got that's a Gomez team of the yeah that's a team of the week for Gomez. That's the card there. So you might have him in your squad, which would help uh, with that option. Um, Benega's also got oops sorry Benega's also got an eighty five team of the week there, and Al Sommer's got an eighty four team of the week, which is a nice card. So there's lots of options you may or may not have in your squad. I mean, Gomez at 80 is the highest rated normal. No, sorry. Benega 83 and then Gomez 80, the highest normal rare gold players in the league. And then you've got um, Giuliano, Juvinko, Carello, and then beyond that have Dalamarat, Petros and Yang. So there's options there. You have in your squad. You may be able to put out a goldish team, but that's how I'm going to approach it to start with. Um, see how we go from there. Should work okay, but may have to change things. Oops, may have to change things up if they don't work as expected. But yeah, that's what I'm going to go with um, to start off. Chem's obviously good there. Obviously not on a couple of players, but yeah, it should work out okay. Um, and the wait a minute, I actually meant to have a look at the Tevredi actual card that you're actually playing for the 89 rated dutch striker uh, other top dutch options that you may have in your squad for the striking oops for the goals huntelaar is a card that people have played for it's objective it's a free card so you may have that in your squad already and you may have the van bergen that a lot of people have used for various objectives he's the right wing from the squad foundations one in the Eredivisie, which you may have from a while back, may have traded in, may still have him, but yeah, he's useful and that'd be there. But as it's squad battles, it will use up your um, games for any loan icons that you use. So that's there. So yeah, let's have a look at Tev Brady, who is the guy, concept players, on striker. So he's an 89 rate. There we go. So yeah, there we go. Blimey, how tall is he? Six foot three, striker, medium low work rates, four star, weak foot, three star skill moves, and he is going to be lethal in the air with that. 99 heading accuracy, 98 jumping, and 98 strength, 93 aggression. He's going to be difficult on corners. Good on penalties, good shot power, good finishing. Has he got power header trade as well? Yeah, there we go, power header. So yeah, he's going to be tricky in the air to deal with if you come up against him. Um, but yeah, that's the new Dutch objective player to play for. There we go. Um, thanks for watching. If you sat through this, um, let me know if you have any problems. If you come up, if I've missed anything, I think covered just about everything. The system with a cross, the Dutch player, the scoring with four star minimum weak foot, which is Mane Mount. And then score using Pro League players, which is why we've got Pro League players up the top end of the pitch. So there we go. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you have any problems. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye.